Welcome, Welcome to Own or Disown, where tech decisions are made easy. easy, 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 easy. Hi, Stephen from Own or Disown. In this video, I'm going to test three different laptops with three different CPUs, all with 32 threads, right? Um, the i9 3980HX, which is in the uh, the GE78HX, which I've done motion retesting on that, and also some of it in the uh, GT77 Titan. Um, also the uh, i9-3900HX, which is in the Alienware M18, which I will be reviewing shortly, so make sure you, you sub subscribe for that. And also the Ryzen 9 7945HX, which is in the ASUS ROG SCAR17. And of course, I'm going to be reviewing that one as well. So make sure you subscribe to catch those individual reviews. Um, so I'm actually doing 18 like CPU tests. And also at the end, I've tested two games just to have a feel of what, uh, you know, how those CPUs get on. Uh, all laptops have an RTX 4080, 175 watt. And I've tested them all, you know, at the highest uh, performance they, they, they can do. And the, the RTX 4080 is as standard, like plus 50 on the core and plus 100 on, on the memory. So that's the same throughout. And actually, I'll do a follow up video doing more gaming tests just to see how that, you know, how, how it you know, could compare. So let's uh, have a look at the results. So first off, we've got uh, CityBinge R23, the multi-threaded test. And the uh, 79... Uh, 45HX was 9% uh, faster than the 13980HX and uh, it was 14% faster than the 13900HX. Uh, um, now the 13980HX uh, is just about 4% faster than the uh, the 13900HX. So not, not a huge amount there, um, but uh, certainly for multi-threaded, the, uh, the Ryzen chip is the way to go. Now, turning to the single-threaded uh, benchmark on it, um, we do see that uh, Intel turns the tables here. The 13980HX is 4% uh, faster than the 13900HX, and the 7945HX, the Horizon, is actually 5% slower than the, even the 13900HX here, and uh, it's actually 8% slower than the 13980HX. So this is going to be a trend we'll see quite a lot, Multi-threaded workloads, the Ryzen chip is better, but single thread Intel to actually is a little bit better. So now looking at uh, Time Spy CPU test, the 3980HX is uh, only 2% faster than the 3900HX here, and the Ryzen uh, 7945HX is uh, some 19% slower than the uh, i9-13980HX, and 17% slower than the 13900HX. This is quite a strange result. Um, it's actually, the, the, it gets a little bit different in Firestrike, where I think it's more CPU intensive here. So let's have a look at the Fire, Firestrike CPU scores. The 7945HX was actually 5% faster than the 13900HX, and uh, but was actually 3% slower than the 13980HX. The uh, Intel 13980HX was 7% faster than the 13900HX. Now, 3D Mark also has its own CPU test, so we'll have a look at their their testing here. Um, looking at max threads, um, 7945HX was 8% faster than the 3900HX here, and it was also 21% faster than the 3980HX. So this is probably pretty much a non-gaming workload, and it's just, you know it's actually using all of the threads there. It's doing really well as the Ryzen chip, and the 39. 80HX is uh, actually surprisingly 11% uh, slower than the 13900HX for some reason. Now, looking at just the, the one thread uh, result, the uh, Ryzen 7, 7945HX was 1% slower than the 13900 and uh, it was 10% slower than the 13980. So, there again, single thread. Intel is the way to go. And as for the uh, how the Intel chips compare, the 13980HX is 9% faster than the 13900HX. Now, turning to Handbrake, um, I'm encoding a 4GB uh, M2TS file to MP4. It's a 1080p file. Uh, you measure the time taken. And it's amazing how fast these come now, because I remember used to, in the day, usually like 45 minutes. But here you look, we've got 7945HX is 18% faster than the uh, 13 uh, 
uh, 900HX, and it's actually 13% faster than the, even the 13980HX. And the 13980 is 6% faster than the 13900. So, yeah, if you, this is the type of workload you do a lot of, I think the Ryzen chip is certainly the way to go here. Um, now, Corona 1.3 benchmark, it's a short rendering test. The 7945HX is 17% faster than the 13900HX and 13% faster than the, the 13980. And the 13980 is 4% faster than the 13900. So, again, if you're doing any rendering work, the Ryzen uh, chip is, is, is certainly the way to go. Silverbench is an online test. Now, anyone could do this. You can just go on the internet, type in Silverbench benchmark, and uh, do this test. It's CPU only. And here, the 13980HX was 2% faster than the 13900HX. And the 7945 was 8% slower than the 13980, and it was 7% uh, slower than even the 13900s. So that was rather strange. Now, CPU mark test, that's a part of the, the pass mark. Again, that's a free download. You can test it yourself. Uh, the 7945XX was 14% faster than the 13980, uh, and 20% faster than the 13900. The 3980HX was 4% faster than the 13900HX. So that followed a trend of anything that's multi-threaded. You know, the uh, the, the 3980 is faster than the 13900 typically, and uh, the Ryzen chip is faster than all. So it's good. 7-zip. So this is an average of uh, the decompressions and uh, compressions, and it's a total score measured in GIPS. Um, the 7945HX is 27% uh, faster uh, than the 13900HX and 13% faster than the 13980. And the 3980HX is 13% faster than the 13900HX. So again, if you're doing a lot of compression work, Ryzen is the way to go. Right, now let's have a look at Geekbench 6. Uh, the multi-threaded score, the 3980HX is 12% faster than the 13900, which is what we'd expect. Um, the 7945HX was only 2% faster than the 13900, um, but was 9% slower than the 13980HX. So I don't know how reliable Geekbench is as a multi-threaded uh, workload, but you know, a lot of people use it, but that's the result. And looking at the single-threaded results, the 75, uh, sorry, the 7945HX was 4% faster than the 13900, and, the third, uh, and was 1% slower than the 13980 and the 13980HX, 5% faster than the 13900HX. Now looking at a more, um, uh, you know, realistic test, uh, the Pujic Systems uh, DaVinci Resolve benchmark. What we got here, the 7945HX was 11% faster than the 13900HX, and 9% faster than the 13980. So that's good for anybody doing any video work. Very good. Now the 13980, there's 2% faster than the 13900HX, so pretty much, uh, you know, the same there. Now, Blender, of course, this is another popular test and a popular workload for people. Um, look, using the Monster test here, the 3980HX was pretty much bang on par to the 13900HX, so the Intel ones were pretty much the same. Now, the Ryzen 9 7945HX was a whopping 22% faster than the 13900HX and, of course, the 13980. So... Yep, if your blender's your, your, your go-to thing, then certainly you need that recommended Ryzen. Now, CPU Z has its own benchmark too, so let's take a look at that. Um, the multi-test, the 7945HX was 10% faster than the 13900HX and 14% faster than the 13980. And uh, the 13980HX was, for some reason, about 4% slower than the 13900HX. And the single threaded score, again, we see the same trend here when it's single threaded. The 7945HX, 16% slower than the 13980HX, and 9% slower than even the 13900. And now the 13980 was 9% faster than the 13900HX, because that extra boost helps on that. Now, overlooking, uh, now look at PC Mark 10. Um, the 7945HX was 4% faster than the 13980 and 14% faster than the 13900HX. The 13980HX, 10% faster than the 13900HX. And this is pretty typical of what you would see here. This is like a digital uh, working 
and it replicates real world uh, real world applications. So that's pretty much what you're going to see. Now let's have a look at some gaming. Now Shadow the Tomb Raider 1080p low settings. Um, 7945HX was about 4% faster than the 13980 and 5% faster than the 13900HX. And the 13980 was about pretty much the same, 1% faster than the 13900. So Shadow of the Tomb Raider does seem to like the Ryzen CPU. Now, once uh, we, we up the resolution, we up that to, say, 2560 by 1440 higher settings, which is going to be more you know realistic with the 4080. Um, the 7945HX is now only 2% faster than the 13980 and 4% uh, faster than the 13900HX and the 13980HX is 2% faster than the 13900HX. So as we expect, it becomes more you know, GPU demanding. The onus is not going to be so much on the CPU, but it still has that trend there when it's a bit faster. Now looking at Far Cry 6, um, 1080p low settings, the 3980HX is 10% faster than the 3900HX. It's quite amazing, really. And the 7945HX was actually 20% slower than the 3980 and 12% slower than the 3900HX. So Far Cry 6 does like a fast CPU. I think it probably does like fast single-threaded performance. So it does seem to prefer the uh, Intel there. And if we increase the resolution there to 2560 by 1440 using Ultra settings, the 13980HX is still 10% faster than the 13900, and the 7945HX is now, you know, 11% slower than the 13980, and now it's only 2% slower than the 13900. So it does close the gap a little bit there. So let's take a look at the averages. First off, the productivity tests there. Um, the 7945HX is 3.5% faster than the 13980. Uh, 7% faster than the 13900 and the 13980HX, 4% faster than the 13900HX. Uh, but bear in mind, that's got a mixture of multi-threaded and uh, single-threaded scores. And I'd say multi-threaded performance is anywhere between 10 and 20% improvement, whilst, of course, single-thread does favour the Intel. And taking a quick look at the, the gaming side of things, 1080p low settings... You know, 7945HX versus the 13980 was about 16% uh, slower there. And the 7945HX versus the 13900 was about 5% slower. And the, uh, the, the the more costly 13980 versus the 13900, there's only about 5.5% difference there in favour of the 13980. And if we increase the, uh, the resolution, these numbers come down a bit, tighten up a little bit. The 7945HX compared to the 13980 is now only 7% slower. The 7945HX versus the 13900HX is now the same, uh, basically the same. And the uh, 13980 versus the 13900, that's about the same, 6%. So as I say, I'll do more gaming tests to get a feel. Perhaps if try and do like a good 10, 15 games, we'll get a feel of which uh, CPU is the better. Now I do expect the, the 7945HX laptops to co uh, cost a bit more. The Asus ROG SCAR 17 cost me after tax about $3,100 from Newegg. Now, you can buy that from Gentech PC for like $2,900, and often there's no tax, depending on where you live. So I recommend that. Um, the uh, Alienware uh, M18 cost me $2,700 after tax. So, you know, it's like $400 cheaper there, you know. And uh, the GE78 Cheapest I've seen there is 3300 and if you stepped up to like the GT77 in the four grand mark. So I don't think paying uh, the extra for the 13980 over the 13900 makes any sense at all. But certainly if you're doing a lot of multi-threaded workloads, I think the Ryzen 9 7945 is an excellent chip. Now, thanks for watching. Bye now.